ECW was the craziest place in the world to be at that time. So that's not just a, a myth. That's actually true. <laughs> ECW oh. was not. Oh, that, that was the end of the Wild West era, just about. Um, I tell people every day, and they ask me about that, I'm like, no, wrestling bears have no resemblance today. It's all guys on their cell phones or their iPads, you know, techie guys, well-behaved, well-behaved guys that didn't, yep. that didn't come up through the era of uh, booze and cocaine and pills and whatever the hell else everybody was on back in the day. Uh, it was it was a very different experience. And, of course, in ECW, people can get away with just openly doing stuff. Really, for the moment, you know, nobody. I mean, in, the, in WCW, you'd at least have to hide it or try. You know, you know, you, you know, you would get fired if somebody came around a corner and saw you smoking a joint, or uh, whatever, or if you were passed out, uh, which I think happened to some Ravens flock back in the day. Uh, but it was it was just a wide open, anything goes environment. But but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I guess you kind of take the good and the bad with that, though, right? I mean, there are obviously safety reasons or health reasons. It's probably better to, maybe to be these techie nerds playing video oh, games yeah. rather than doing all that crazy stuff. But then it almost takes a little bit of personality out of these guys. You know what I mean? Not the same. Yeah. Well, you know, I was talking to one of my colleagues, and we were lamenting the fact that everyone is so well behaved, so well educated these days that you miss there's there's something missing from the locker room when you have a maniac like iron Sheik or sat or uh, uh sandman or new jack or uh knobs and sags you know that that's part of the ambiance of wrestling you know um that i think every locker room should have at least like one or two crazy people for morale <laughs> just to, yes. people, it gives you something to talk about and laugh about it. Um, and, and they're almost like court jesters, people of, who fill that role. Um, so, but yeah, there, it's definitely a safer time to be in the wrestling business. Um, you know, there, you don't have ring rats anymore. They've almost completely, and for those watching this who don't know, a ring rat is what groupies were called. Right. Um, they're gone. It, it used to be in the old days you could come to the hotel. And if you ever see those documentaries on, say, National Geographic, the wildebeest come billowing across the uh, Serengeti or wherever it is, and they have to cross this one river to get that isn't too wide, but they have to cross it to get to where they're migrating to. Yep. And they're laying for them are a bunch of crocodiles <laughs> and they just start snapping them that's how it used to be <coughs> after the matches you'd be in the bars and the women just came down there it, it wasn't even fair it was stupid the guy, the guy who was putting up the ring or dri you know driving the ring truck was getting <laughs> laid it was, it was like 1996 to 2001 2002 crazy time as far as the 